Mother India, the spiritual heart of Asia, draws disillusioned Westerners to her like a mystical magnet. And I am one of these living, breathing cliches, backpacking my way round India, searching for a belief, a guru, and a cause. Bored with the backpackers part of Delhi, I head for the Tibetan district, Majnukatila. Since the Chinese invasion of Tibet in 1959, over one million Tibetans have been killed and 120,000 have fled to India to live in exile with their political and spiritual guru, the Dalai Lama. The Tibetans have made a life for themselves here. Some have even made money and bought their way out. But most are trapped in political limbo, passing time as they wait for the world's leaders to make a stand against China. But below the peaceful facade, tensions run high in the Tibetan community, as some begin to do the unthinkable and question the Dalai Lama's Buddhist stance. I hear rumors that a demonstration is taking place, so I head for an area of Delhi called Jantamanta to find out more. Jantamanta is where Mahatma Gandhi staged his famous hunger strikes and has since become the only place in India where this extreme form of protest is legal. The rumors are right. Six Tibetans are on hunger strike and Richard Gere is in Delhi to support them. We have six human beings in this tent next door who are going to die. They've pledged to die and I sincerely believe they are. I've been arguing against it myself. I think there are other strategies to be used, but they are totally committed to this. The Dalai Lama arrives and argues the case for non-violence to the strikers. But they know it's been more than 40 years since the Chinese invaded Tibet, and the Dalai Lama's policy has had little political effect. Hated to oneself, under that circumstances, impossible to extend a sense of caring or compassion to others. So therefore, harming on oneself, also a kind of violence. So uh, I always against any form of violence. So I do not agree 